Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see a new gadget. You may have heard at the home many times from your wife or any family members. That is, please switch off gas knob after three pressure cooker whistles or switch off the gas after 10 minutes. And what happened? You forget to do that. In this video, we are going to see how to make a gadget which will count the whistle of pressure cooker and switch off gas automatically with the timer function. So let's see how to make that gadget. This is a picture of that gadget. Let's do intro. What is the parts? So this is the display, OLED display. This is a buzzer. This is IR sensor. This is IR remote. Yes, we are controlling this device from the infrared remote control. This is a DC motor. That is a mobile stand, cell phone stand. This is a flexible mic wire. This is a power wire. At the back, it has one wheel. There is a one magnet attached to it. Also a read switch which will detect the off position. This is a DC motor. So let's see how to install it on the gas stove. Turn on the gas. Apply some water on that rubber stand so it will stick properly. Rotate that wheel to the on position because our knob is on now. So we have to make that lock. It is a vacuum lock so it is stick now. This is a micro mic microphone put pressure cooker on the gas stove set mic in the direction so let's see how it works so when pressure cooker make a noise of the vessel mic will listen that sound we will amplify that sound with the preamplifier the preamplifier output goes to the ADC port of the Arduino we will filter out the high decibel sound only so it will able to count the vessel sound only with the high filter so Arduino will also able to control the motor and timer. So using the motor, we will able to rotate the gas knob. For better understanding of this project, I have installed three cameras here with the different different angle view. So camera one will show the main view. Camera two will show the display of that gadget. Camera three will show the knob and the stove flame. So when I will control the remote, you have to see into the main window. When I will change anything from the remote, you can see the display status as well. When the knob will rotate, you have to see the camera three and camera one. So let's get started. We have to set the input from the remote. Let's we have to set the three vessels. Count, press three button from the remote, check the camera two display. Enter the time for the 15 minutes. If three this will not happen in the 15 minutes, so get will, gas will turn off. Press OK. So here the timer has been started as well the counter. So we have to increase the flame. Press the button from the remote. Look at the camera 3. The flame has been increased. Let's keep that remote aside. Forward this video till the whistle. Check the display, camera to status, count has been increased by 1. So the count has been increased, it is 1 now out of 3. Let's increase the speed of video till the next special sound, it's normal speed now. Check the display, 
the count has been increased to two. Two whistles are done. We can see in the display as well. The status has been updated. Let's wait for the next one. Forward this video at normal speed now. Take the all camera status now. Yes, it's switching off. Yes, it's switch off and alarm has been started. To stop this alarm, we need to press OK button from the remote. Let's press the OK button from the remote. If you miss to see the gas switch off, then let's do replay. This was about the mode 1 which is the whistle mode and the second mode is the timer mode. So let's see how timer is works. Set the timer, we can use the remote. You have to set the whistle count 0 and enter the minutes and then set the timer. So using that timer, microcontroller will trigger the timer mode and control the DC motor and motor can be used to rotate the knob. So camera 1 is a top view, camera 2 is a display, camera 3 is a motor and knob view. So let's timer, set the timer from the remote. Set the 0 whistle count. For this video we are going to see the time minute for the 1 minute for the testing. Press OK to start the timer. For 60 seconds, 1 minute, the timer has been started. So if you want to control the flame from the manually, you can simply rotate that wheel which is attached to DC motor as this is not servo you can free to rotate it or you can rotate it from the remote as well see the flame is increased now let's decrease it again using the arrow buttons on the remote you can easily control the motor knob our timer also running in the background I will forward this video with the two speed the timer will end soon let's wait for the timer end it's going to finish now so the timer is over and gas is turned off automatically to turn off that alarm again you need to press ok button and it's done suppose you have to switch off that gas in the middle of timer only before the timer finishes. we can do it also from the remote control just press the button from the remote hatch button and gas will be turned off press ok button to switch off that alarm let's see how to remove this gadget from the stove so you have to open that vacuum lock and easily just pull that device that's it so this is the list which components are used into this project this is a circuit diagram i have attached the pre-amplifier if you have sound sensor then pre-amplifier is not required attach the connection as shown in this figure and first time you can make it on the breadboard or you can do it directly on the circuit so let's see how to make or attach the wheel so <clears throat> this wheel I have purchased with the motor only BO motor and we have to attach two L plastic plates to here with the screw I have attached them and let's test on the gas knob if it is working or not the gas is on let's turn it and it is able to switch off the gas so it is working so attach it to the motor with the screw I have attached it to the motor 
and let's test it with the gas so it works fine so how the DC motor will recognize that gas is switch off so I have it as one strong magnet and read switch so when the magnet will came near to the read switch it will turn on and the microcontroller will able to know that this is the off position so we have to set the wheel according to it so as I said I have made first circuit on the breadboard and it's working fine so after that I have I connected the wires like this so this is a pre-amplifier made on the zero PCB this is a microphone with the flexible cable or wire this is a buzzer this is a Arduino Pro Mini this is a motor driver there's a IR sensor and the OLED display this is a DC motor with the read switch attached and the wheel magnet how to attach this motor so I took the one cell phone mobile stand which use in car so let's attach clamp this motor over here attach one rubber band here and or the you can attach the glue gun or any glue to stick it also it has a one vacuum lock and the flexibility like this so I took one small plastic box and I'm going to attach this circuit or install this circuit in this small box so I have installed it here like this pre-amplifier Arduino and motor driver and buzzer all inside it the outside is the IR sensor and display there is a other components as well I was facing some difficulties with the motor so I am using the optocoupler we have to follow this circuit I have made install it on the zero PCB like this sorry this circuit is all mess but it works fine so there are one more modification I have added two pull up register to I2C port on the display as shown here and I have took out the power connector I connected direct wire power wire and there is a female jack connector here to reprogram the microcontroller using the external port so this is a already intro I have given previously at the start so remember like adjust the flame it is not so convenient with the angle motor I don't have that BO double shaft motor here but if you have that I am recommending to use that because you can attach the external knob to it directly and you will able to control manually that knob very easily so use the straight double shop bio motor instead of the angle bio motor sorry the video length is already too long for the coding i will make another one more video all details are in the present description below also i will publish the code soon please check the description and thanks for watching this video if you have not subscribed the channel yet then please click on that red subscribe button hit the bell icon all notifications and you will get the all notifications as well as soon as I will upload the video if you want to see this video into the Hindi then please check my another channel अगर आपको ये वीडियो हिंदी में देखना है तो मेरा दूसरा चैनल देखिए जिसका नाम है सचिन लैब प्लीज शेयर दैंस like the video thank you if you have some questions then please comment i will try to answer soon thanks for watching